Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're doing well, and in this video we are going to be discussing an overall update on the upcoming next Star Wars movie, that there being Star Wars, The Mandalorian, and Grogu movie. Of course, we're going to go ahead and hop right on into it, talk all about it, break it all down for you guys, everything that we know, and everything that we're anticipating right now. Before we do though, however, grab that subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing and covering all types of Star Wars related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that that subscribe button today. Okay, so the last official announcement or overall update that we've heard about the next upcoming Star Wars movie, that there would be the Mandalorian and Grogu movie because of its release date being officially announced and confirmed on Disney's theatrical slate coming out on May 22nd of 2026. So about roughly a little over two years out from it now. One thing that I absolutely love though about this is that that's exactly what was being rumored around for like two or three weeks prior before this official announcement. So seeing how how those rumors and those whispers in the background are able to come forefront and actually be confirmed by Disney, by Lucasfilm themselves, I think is really all the more. In this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from gizmodo.com. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well as an overall garnering source there as well. It's probably slightly early to get in line at the theater, but The Mandalorian and Grogu has an official release date. The next Star Wars movie will arrive on May 22nd of 2026, replacing a slot held for an untitled Star Wars project or movie, presumably, on Disney's release schedule for a theatrical. Today, Disney's calendar updates has also contains also some other additional noteworthy details outside of a galaxy far, far away on top of that. We also have new confirmations and announcements for other upcoming Disney related branches such as, well, Disney themselves, of course, but Pixar and other projects of that nature there as well. So unlike the official announcement for this actual movie itself to begin with, which was what a couple months ago now back in January of the Mandalorian and Grogu movie actually even being a thing from Star Wars or from Disney or Lucasfilm themselves. That was just a random announcement on a random Tuesday. I mean, there was nothing that really had led up to that. It wasn't really necessarily a quote unquote important date for Disney to make in an important announcement. On top of this confirmation of a release date for the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, Disney also went ahead and had confirmed and announced other uh, release dates for theatrical releases such as a live-action Moana movie and its release date, previously due out June 27th of 2025. It's now shifting over to July 10th of 2026, but fret not, Moana fans, we've also got the animated Moana 2 movie coming out this year in November. That's all besides the point, though. Disney had also made announcements for a Toy Story 5 is taking place of an untitled Pixar project and will arrive on June 19th of 2026. Tron Ares is swapping in for an untitled Disney project there as well, arriving October 10th of 2025. So Disney came out with a slew of new announcements and confirmations, shifting around a few release dates there as well. I think that is probably one of the most important and notable things though, however, is having, you know, shifting around of uh, these release dates. Now it makes me hopeful and it makes me non-hopeful all at the same time because there's some projects that we would like to hear uh, a new confirmation update on for their releases like The Mandalorian Season 4 or even like the uh, Rogue Squadron movie by Patty Jenkins that is apparently reportedly still in development and is still being worked on especially now after the director Patty Jenkins has stepped away from making another Wonder Woman movie for DC like they're kind of just done with those and she's stepping away from that and now has time and that availability to come back to Lucasfilm and start working again on her Rogue Squadron movie that was actually supposed to release last year in 2023 so and I'm hopeful essentially uh, in that remark of that well we're seeing these kind of new shifting around dates like rescheduling essentially I'm looking for a reschedule date for a Rogue Squadron movie here it also makes me unhopeful though however as I had mentioned there that there could be you know release uh, release reshifts around having currently confirmed like release dates for projects right now for a galaxy far far away would just not be ideal essentially. But it, you know, is better than them kind of going off the radar like Rogue Squadron did do before about over a year ago now. 
The other films noted in this overall update and confirmation announcement by Disney were also the likes of The Amateur, a spy thriller starring Rami Malek, is shifting from a November 8th of 2024 release date to April 11th of 2025. And of the likes of all of these new confirmation dates here, or maybe like shifting around dates essentially, Disney also removed an untitled film from July 10th of 2026. We just don't know what that could have been. I would assume it's something probably maybe Marvel related though if I had to take a guess at it. Of by which if you are a Marvel fan, we have our Marvel channel linked in the description down below. So as I had mentioned before, aside from, well, of course, all of these new confirmations or maybe, you know, re-dating things for their releases, essentially shifting around release dates uh, for uh, many upcoming Disney-related projects under Pixar or under maybe Marvel or anything of that nature, essentially just under the Disney umbrella overall is that it really, I think, is tending to show that Disney is not afraid to make those kind of sudden adjustments or those sudden announcements like they did initially from the get-go for the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, just randomly announcing, like, oh yeah, we're doing this project, by the way, on a random Tuesday in January. I think that's absolutely phenomenal, quite honestly. I think it keeps you on your toes for what they could announce uh, next, honestly. So, as I had mentioned before, aside from having more random updates or spontaneous updates about the Mandalorian and Grogu movie itself, uh, by which we are able to kind of, like, take a look at the bigger picture and able to predict on when some of those dates could be, which we'll discuss in just a moment, it does leave a bit of that hopefulness that they could do the same for other Star Wars related projects like The Mandalorian Season 4 or like Ahsoka Season 2, giving us more confined like release updates uh, for those projects there as well, or even for Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron movie as that is now back on the works, back on the radar there as well. Taking place later in this year, August 9th through the 11th of 2024, is when Disney is holding their D23 event. And this is a prime suspect of one, I think, that will actually have a first official look at the upcoming Mandalorian and Grogu movie itself. That is with the assumption, based off of the simple rumor, that the movie itself is set to begin its production and filming in June or at the start of summer of this year. So about two months out now at the time of recording and publishing this video is when they're supposed to start production and filming on the Mandalorian and Grogu movie of this year. And well, by then, they'll be fairly far into actual filming and production for the project, so they may have something to show for it by the time their D23 event rolls around. But hey, only time will tell. I'll make a whole nother video discussing that all in more detail and in more depth later on here on the channel. It's all the more reason to grab that subscribe button if you haven't already, guys. This year all being said, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.